Hey guys, and welcome to our next project. This is Outlast, which is um, an interesting game that um, I actually played before. I played this game when it first came out on the PlayStation 4, I believe. It was one of the very, very first um, PlayStation Plus quote free games and um, my friend and I actually sat down rich and we finished it in one sitting um, and I remember at the time I wasn't overly impressed with it uh, I remember hearing very good things about it being one of these uh, early indie uh, horror adventures so to speak you can't fight back against the enemies it's one of these um, run away from everything uh, dealios which as a rule I don't like however after playing summer and really really enjoying that so I started watching um, little miss Natalie play this game and I was thinking it actually looks far better than I remember and I thought why not we need a new horror game to play and this was free on the PC so I thought, why not? I'll give it another go on the PC um, and see uh, see what I think of it this time. I also have the Whistleblower um, DLC, which I never played before. So that's going to be interesting. This The story, I will say, I'm not going to ruin anything, um, but the story in this game actually goes in a very different um, direction than, than you would actually uh, originally think. It's um, it's it has a very strange narrative and a very odd ending. Um, but I'm quite looking forward to getting back into it. So anyway, let's go new game. We're gonna go. Oh fucking hell! I don't remember all these difficulties. Normal, hard, or nightmare. Um. I'm assuming the only difference is just how quickly the enemies kill you. Um, well, we're going to go normal. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. I will try, game. Um, I hope so. I hope it uh, contains all of these things, because all of these things are things that I like. You are Miles Uspar, an investigator, investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Mount Massive Asylum. Is that really what they call it? All right. Uh, stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Intriguing. Let's continue. Yeah, I remember there's a specific scene that comes up later on in this game that I will mention when we get there. That just made me and my friend laugh in hysterics. And it killed the horror. One thing I should probably do, actually, is there subtitles? Uh, as high as high as we can go? Oh, we can go very high! Holy shit, guys. Let's do this. Uh, disable motion blur, that's nice. fine. V-Sync is all that good. General. Uh, invert south portal. Crouch. Difficulty normal. Ah, subtitles. There we go. Uh, return to game. Investation, huh? Sounds good. And here we are. To our new fun house. Getting a very Resident Evil 7 vibe. 
Which is silly because this came out before then, obviously. <sighs> End of the line, Mr. Miles. September 17th, 2013, from emailcom huh. Two miles, subject, tip, illegal activity at Murkoff. Psychiatric systems. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric in Systems. Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been... Something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, alrighty then. Uh, oh yeah, I remember the camera now, of course. With the most useless batteries known to man. Here we go. I'm just attaching the camera to our face. It's going to be good playing this with a keyboard and mouse after playing it with a uh, control pad for the first time. Added glorious 60 frames a second. Uh, objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook tab containing your notes N and picked up documents J. Okay. Graphically this game... Whoa! Okay, that's more like 5,000 frames a second, but sure. Um, yeah, so graphically this game... You know, it was pretty good at the time. It hasn't aged very well, though. Get in through the fucking... Okay, this is one of those magical doors that we can't go through. I see. No, we can go through it. It's just ten times harder than you would have thought. I got you. Miles, you're going to have a bad time if you cannot even circumvent open portals. There we are. Uh, to open a door quickly, press left mouse button. To open a door slowly, hold left... Oh, right, okay. Uh, press or hold. Okay, so holding it down opens it slowly. To raise your camcorder, push mouse button. Yeah. Um, the only problem is when we use our camcorder to see in the dark because it's night vision. Uh, night vision is a bit of a bit of a wrong term. It's light amplification. Um, but it drains the batteries at a frightening rate. I don't know why we're finding all of these damn near empty batteries laying around. Uh, I think that that is an awful game mechanic. But there we go. Yep. I do like this initial setup. Holy shit. This is very impressive. You know, this would make a wonderful uh, beginning to a Resident Evil game. Spencer Estate. Is that you? Ooh, look at these. To run, hold down left shift. Yeah, baby. Way ahead of ya. What do we got here? Ooh. Now there are some serious paddy wagons right there. You know if these fuckers turn up for you, you're gonna have a bad time. They really need armored vehicles like this to transport uh, a couple of psychos? Huh. Sounds like the wolves are out in force as well. So, Mount Massive Asylum. Alright, let me in. Or not, maybe. Oh, actually, I think we have to sneak in if memory serves. It'd be too easy if we could just roll up and open the door, I suppose. Ah, well this is handy. Left control. Alright. Whoa, that is a hell of a crouch. Hang on. Talk about tuck and roll. Jesus. Resting his head on his bloody knees, I think. That's some artful uh, artful tucking. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with my... Oh, I did not know that, actually. Oh, look at that. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. 
I also can't think of that ever being useful in the game. Uh, I might be wrong though. From what I remember, this game is fairly linear as well. Um, there is one area that I got lost in. Yeah, we're going up the ladder. Up the ladder, Miles. Come on, buddy. It's not that difficult. Soundtrack is um, very nice, actually. Very, very freaky. It's ticking all the right boxes so far. To jump over a gap, press the space bar whilst moving forwards. Uh huh. Video games 101. I do like the fact we have a body as well. Uh, not often you get a body. Although, more and more often these days, we are getting bodies. Living bodies, or dead bodies, in the case of Soma. Now, oh. so there's scaffolding here for anyway. Maintenance, perhaps? Yep. Yep. I guess we didn't need the lights anyway. Now, ah, there we go. It's F to turn on. To activate night vision, yeah, let's push F. And you can already see our batteries running out. I think these are like a hundred milliamp batteries or something. You know the ones you buy in like Poundland? They're worse than those. If you think nickel metal hydride batteries are bad, holy crap. Um no, press and hold, there we go. A little bit fiddly, but we get there, we get there. Ah, oh, we can lean as well, of course. Of course. What, what the fuck happened? How did we get inside that building again? There we go. Yep, typical lean controls are okay. Can we not have some anti-aliasing? No, I guess there's no anti-aliasing. Okay. Oh, Hark, you got me, game. Yeah, the lighting and everything's, you know, it's not bad. It's held up fairly well. So the TVs are sentient. Is this what they've been working on all this time? No, get rid of that. There we go. I'm going to open all of these doors quietly because we don't want to introduce ourselves. Not just yet. To squeeze through, move towards the gap. Yeah. Very good. Self, Self-explanatory, I suppose. Ah. What do we have? Anything here to read? I can't read... Really... Ooh. Batteries. Batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the most inefficient camcorder on the planet. I would say it's probably like a mega cheap camcorder, but uh, they wouldn't have light amplification. A214. Let's have a little look in A214. Hello? I hope you're decent. Yep. Alright. Okay, let's just shut the door. Imagine this. You're turning up uh, first day on the job, and this is your, your office. Yep. Definitely do with some maintenance, I suppose. Log on screens. What have we got? Ooh. Ooh. What's that? There's the computer. Okay, can't really take that with us. Uh, journal is J. Makes sense. Smirkov Psychiatric Systems. Project Wall Rider. Mount Massive CO. Case number 17. Four. Patient's initials. WPH Billy. Consult uh, consultation dated. 2012. Blah, blah, blah. Patient age 19. Gender male. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Huh. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Di uh, diagnostics. Spirotemetry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Uh, failed to separate, blah, 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 MRI, but yeah, it's the, uh, one thing actually I do remember about a lot of the, um, the logs that you pick up in this game, they're pretty much all full of this, uh, medical mumbo 
jumbo. And a lot of it is just uninteresting. It doesn't go anywhere. You look through these massive... No I mean, I guess it's realistic because it's the kind of thing that you would find. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Trager. Note, the only Trager on company records is one Richard Trager. He's an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. Yeah, now they are working on something called Wall Rider. Um, obviously. Yeah. But um, there's something very interesting going on with that, I must admit. Alright, someone's in the shitter. Fair play. Why is this dude freaking out? I don't understand. Like, nothing's happened yet. This place just looks abandoned. Alright, well, looks like there's a large uh, intestine and a Pepsi for dinner. Uh-huh, okay. Cola, drink it. Uh, are you asking or telling me? Reach the air vent, jump up with spacebar. I don't do well with orders, I'm going to be honest. If you ask Lee nicely to, if you ask me, I should say, nicely to comply, I will. But don't tell me to do something. Um, okay. Shut the door. Up and at him. Come on, Miles. What's the worst that could happen, buddy? I'm sure everything's going to be fine. We're going to be kicking back with... Oh. Hello, pal. I'm sure we're going to be kicking back with a nice glass of uh, Pepsi and some small intestines before we know it. I have a feeling we'll be fitting in with this mad bunch. Oh. Very dusty in here, isn't it? I'm not really sure why. Oh, I can't remember how the Save and exit. I'm assuming we could save anywhere. That would be nice for the purpose of an LP. Should we try the F6? F6 does not quick save, which is not good. Press or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know. Oh. Very predictable. Too predictable. Well, we have a corpse. Lots of corpses, actually. Which is rather delicious. Well, stars, you mean to go on, I suppose. Ooh. So somebody's been hanging everybody. Wow, lots of bodies. Oh, hello. They killed us. They got out. The buried. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Yeah, well, unfortunately, somebody has locked all of the windows, so I can't get out. Yeah. Another one of these cases with uh, locked windows, you know? Wow. Someone went on all Roman on his ass. Jeez, look at that. You know, he did well to survive for as long as he did. I imagine a spike up the ass is uh, not the most pleasant way to go. Can we not go through here? Oh! Somebody coming. Mate, you gotta get your breathing under control, buddy. That's actually one thing that irritated me quite a lot, if I remember correctly. His constant, like, breathing. Because you're trying to, uh, listen. And our first load of batteries are almost dead already. 
But they're certainly not Duracells or Energizers, are they? That's for sure. Mate, you've got to get this anxiety attack under control. You really have. Can we go through here? No. Hmm, I'm sure we go through that door. I'm sure we do. This is the problem. If you run out of batteries, you're screwed. Because the game is crazy dark. Alright, let's have another go at trying to open this door. Yeah. Well, now it bloody opens. It wouldn't open before. Alright. Well, we're going to maximise every dose of power from these batteries. Hmm. Oh, we could go down here, I suppose. Maybe. Anything? Not really. Oh! There's, a, there's an arm in the toilet. Oh! It's not exactly the weirdest thing I've ever seen in the toilet, but it uh, comes close. Comes close, you know. This is a big place, isn't it? It's proper trash. I wonder what he's talking about. Variants getting out. What the hell does that mean? Variants? Not mutants? Not zombies? Not psychos? They actually have a proper name for them. Variants. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? Be gentle with me. Or not. Oh, hello. Who are you? You look like some bloody occultist or something. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Uh-oh. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Uh-oh. We have Bible crazies. We have Bible crazies. New objective. Escape the asylum. Uh, access security controls to unlock. Uh-huh. Tab. Documents and notes. So, I'm inside. Oh, hello. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Huh. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceilings. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff Longtime M.O. has been to profit off the exploitation of uh, supported oh supposed charity fuck the third world and bankroll another billion how did Murkoff think that they would make money off building oh off a building full of crazy people there's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Well, yes. Alright. Documents. Alright. So a very basic, um, a very basic kind of uh, journal system. But it works. It's functional. So, we have lots of dead people. Wow, look at this guy. Spilt his guts and lost his head. Huh. Reminds me of Event Horizon, you know. I forget the exact phrase, but, uh, you know, the whole, you don't need eyes where you're going. You don't need a head or guts where we're going in this case. What have we got here? The Murkoff Corp. United States Office. Warrant for seizure. Case number blah blah blah. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massif Psychiatric Center. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Mount Massif. Will blah blah blah. There's all this crap that you don't, you know. Uh, additives having been made before the board of directives. Directors. Murkoff Hardline Security. 
uh, reasons to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environmental or environment contamination. We're satisfied that the um, okay. Uh, blah blah blah. I would read this out, but I'll be honest, guys. It's just it's not interesting. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender the complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Merkov Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required. The action. So basically, uh, yeah, you're fucked for working with us. Right. Well, our batteries are kind of screwed. Well, this is kind of interesting, actually. Our batteries are empty. But it still gives you a little bit of light amplification, which is interesting. I thought it went completely dead. When your batteries ran out. That's not actually too bad. So what have we got here? Oh, a battery. Okay. Are we going to uh, carry 10 batteries? Which actually is a quite a lot, to be fair. Um, There's a lot of batteries. I mean, batteries are quite heavy. Although these ones, I'd imagine, with their minuscule capacity wouldn't be I believe actually thinking about it uh, on the harder difficulties you can hold less batteries and they possibly drain faster yeah if you can imagine that they actually drain faster I think now I played the demo of Outlast 2 uh, and I wasn't that impressed with it it just seemed like more of this but uh, perhaps I will give it a go in the future I know it was uh, quite the cult classic. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. I don't know if it has anything to do with this game. If it's a direct sequel or what, but... Oh, hello. Is this one going to be interesting, or is this one just going to be more like... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Patient. Uh, Walker. Initial date of patient consult. Uh, 2011. 32. Male. Uh, therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostic, uh, spirometry uh, revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient's report, reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Uh, that's got to be the, maybe the big guy that was chasing us earlier. Extensive dermal eruptions as uh, consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experiences with uh, uh, Trulia lizards and their. Um, I can't read that. My dyslexia is really getting the better of me today. He has uh, expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Um, attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His uh, predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a maniac exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical uh, restraints is highly recommended. Yeah, so as you can see, these journals just... I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but they're not interesting in the way like um, the Silent Hill ones are, or the Soma ones were, or Resident Evil journals. There's, 
These ones are just really clinical, really boring. Um, now that's not reflecting the game. That's just the journals. Uh, and I remember thinking this the first time we played this. They just didn't come across as very interesting. Which is a shame because the storyline itself actually is. Oh, and we are on half an hour, guys. So I'm going to save and exit here. I hope you enjoyed this first video. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, when we continue, we're going to walk down this corridor and possibly get molested by this fellow um, sitting in his wheelchair. Possibly not. You'll have to find out in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, till next time.